Hi, this is Keith. I wanted to talk about ring tension testing today. This is not a proper tool for testing ring tension, but is what's commonly used out in the field. Problem is when you're using one of these scales, you're actually testing the drag in the bore, and the interaction between the ring and the surface of the cylinder can give very, very incorrect readings. When we're testing, we're checking the pounds to compress the part to a specified bore size. In this case, 4030. I've got a slip ring for 4030. I've got a master for 4030. I've already set this machine up to run. I've calibrated it for about 10 pounds of pull to compress the part. I've got a 316 low tension oil ring here. Should be around 16 pounds. That's what they're rated at, plus or minus. We've got an agitator here that takes any friction out between the rails and the expander, so we're actually reading just the force it takes to compress the part to the specified bore size. And here we go. Right on where it should be. That's ring tension testing.